on, Jacob. Go, Woody.
I know it's been more than a couple minutes since the end of that race, but I know that how much you gave in that race, and it's still showing on here. Um, congrats. I have never seen a D1 race be that close, and um, it was just a heck of a finish on there. Uh, Manny had a huge lead. At what point did you, I mean, even move close to him? Um, we were coming up the hill over here before the two mile. A little louder. We were coming up over here before the two mile, and Bodie Erickson was starting to move up. And I was just trying to stick on him. And then we came down the hill right past the two mile, and I could see Manny up ahead. And I just thought, if I'm going to be this close to him, I might as well try to go get him. Hey, do you know where Fennel is? I had him for a little while, but he, he got me in the end. He had a great race. Oh, that, that, was, that was such an epic finish. Uh, you know, I know people will, for years to come, be talking about how awesome that race was and, and two giants going at each other in there. So, hey, 15-26 on this course, and uh, that, uh, that was an outstanding race for you. And uh, not only that, you helped lead your team to a second-place finish, and we're going to get those guys in here in just a second, okay? That was ballsy. Loved it. Coach, a few words here. I mean, a second place finish. And you and Point being that low of scores in a in a meet. I mean, that's two awesome teams. It's not just teams that finish first and second. It's two awesome teams. Yeah. You know, we we asked our kids to work hard for each other, and you know, at the end of the day, that's all we can do, and can't really focus on other teams. Hats off to that Spash squad. What they? There were 39 points. It's just a, an incredible run for them. Uh, you know, super proud of our guys. The way they handled, they were composed. Um, in the middle of the race, they worked, worked hard, fought through it. Um, you know, and to finish with under 100 points and get second is, is a pretty solid day for us. And you know, I'm really proud of the way they executed and attacked the race. And um, you know, just really happy for them overall. And, and Zach's race. Oh, that was just. I tell them, I, I've never seen. Um, a D1 race, I, I know I think there was one other division, one year that it was within a tenth of a second. But. A lot of courage from Manny to take it out that hard, um, and I think a lot of courage from Zach too uh, at the two mile mark to say, alright, let's go, let's try to get him, um, and then looked strong doing it, um, quite the finish at the end. Um, but proud of his mindset coming in, and he didn't panic. Um, it didn't quite work out, but uh, still a tremendous race and a that, tremendous That was, that, that absolutely was. And, and to say, you know, there's one thing about coming back or coming hard in the last mile, but coming hard on this course, that last mile is a mile from hell, in my opinion. Yeah, you know, we, we told the guys beforehand, it's hard for everybody. Um, you know, and you just have to know in your heart that you can do it, and you have to know that, that you can still attack and charge. And, and Zach certainly showed a lot of courage to to really attack and try to move in that last mile. So, so really proud of with of him um, and overall the effort that the guys had. 
Well, yeah. congrats. Thank you. Are, are your guys around yet? I think there's some. Here they are holding the runner-up trophy, Oconomowoc. It was an awesome performance by your guys. I think it just took a more awesome performance by Stevens Point that beat you. But uh, it's just been a great season. It's been great following you guys. You want to just go down the line on here and uh, speak loud enough. We got a lot of background noise and uh, something about the, today's race and also the season. Go ahead. I'm Bryce Faith, and uh, I'm just really proud of the team and how hard they work today. And, uh, I'm Zach Vance. I, same thing. It's like I'm, I'm so proud of the way everyone's worked hard all year, and we obviously wanted to win, but I don't think we can be upset with the way that everyone went out and competed and just really. Uh, gave our best effort today. You guys really laid it out on the line, and Zach, I, that race you ran was so incredible. Uh, it's, it was a pleasure to watch. I'm Peyton Trebold, and I thought the course in the race was really tough. And I was like, I'm Trebold. Uh, we worked for so long, we worked so hard for this, and you know, I, I couldn't be more happy with this I'm Jane Sales, I'm just really proud of how all of us worked together throughout the season, and I never would have thought joining as a freshman that we would be this good this year, and I'm just super proud of it. I'm Andrew Vizcara, and it was a really hard race, but I have an amazing team, and it was good. I'm James Lennington. Uh, really difficult course, but really well maintained. The whole team did a really good job, put in a really great effort. Well, it's been an incredible season for you guys. So, hey, congrats um, and celebrate tonight. The whole town of Oconomowoc ought to know how well you guys race. Here we are, the head coaches of Stevens Point and uh, uh, Kevin Hopp and Don Benke and you guys today and I, I know I may get a little uh, protest or even hate mail for me saying this because Point has had so many great teams but I've got to believe this is the best state meet performance by your team and any team in uh, Wisconsin cross country history. You guys just went out there and you didn't just win it, you crushed it. Um, I, I think you, you had right. him so well prepared. Go ahead, Don. I, I think you're right about this is the best team that we've ever put on a state meet course, even going back to the 70s and 80s when we, you know, the teams we had in the early 80s were pretty nice. Uh, you know, I'd say that Madison LaFollow threw a really good score up there one year. Your team at Arrowhead uh, was awfully good uh, one of those years, I recall. But, boy, it, it, we're up in the top couple there. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, you, you never know what you're going to get, right? They're high school kids, and they, they kind of set a goal at the beginning of summer, and then as the season went on, they wanted to be the best team that we had, and that's what they talked about last night even, and, but you still don't know until the day. And what they did today, I, I can't say we even hoped for that, right? They, 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 they all did our expectations today, so. Oh, absolutely, and, you know, the they, they finished it with exclamation marks, I think, because of, of how they closed, and I don't know where you guys are situated, but in that last 50, 100 meters, Every one of them was moving, and uh, yeah, impressive. I couldn't get there. I, 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 I was done by that point. But I saw him going up the hill, so I, I knew we were in good shape, and and uh, I was shaking hands by that point. You're not supposed to, but uh, people kept coming up to me, so I think it was it was uh, pretty obvious that we'd run really well. Yeah, those guys you could see with 500 to go coming through the bowl there that they were still they were yep. still chomping at the bit, yep. and they were going to go get anyone they wanted. And, and they, they went and they got it and the hill didn't matter or anything. They just, right, one of those where you, you hope for that every day and, and then it happens. And I'm going to say something else that's going to just scare the bejesus out of everyone in the state. Your top five are underclassmen. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they're terrific kids. And, of course, every cross-country coach who watches this is going to know the exact same thing when we say that about our guys what wonderful kids we are lucky to have and I'm sure that everybody says the same thing about our kids and, and they really are they're a special group of kids in, and, and in, on top of that they just happen to be really good runners they, and they, young yeah and they, and they all get along right obviously you always hope your teams get along but these guys truly truly think of themselves as brothers and, and some of them are but a lot of them you know they, they just they're always together they're hanging out they're helping each other out and 
yeah, they just they're, they, they, they think of themselves as runners too, right? Some guys just run cross country. These guys see themselves as runners, and uh, it's a kind of fun to coach. Yeah, they live it. They really do. Well, go live it up because yeah. you've, you've sure earned it. Congratulations again. Thanks, Mike. Thanks.